what you gon' do now mm. I hope you're ready Cause I'm really about to put it down Girl, you know that I will never disrespect you We mm. have tomorrow, but tonight I wanna spend with you mm. Mm. Yeah, that's young, gotta make it last Girl, I'll soak it, I'ma beat it up Hate on me, but no Tryna say stuff with the piece ain't close There you go again, that voice is One of the conversations that Dr. Rice and Dana, myself, has had <clears throat> before Sylvia Randa got into his ear with a bunch of lies. And we're discussing Robert. Hmm. I, I, I kind of figured why things is going sour because the people that I trusted want to discuss me with the people that I discussed Robert with. Let's talk about it. Let's see. This was before the wiretap. This was before anything came out. This was before the arrest one. Take a look at this. Dr. Rice and Dana J. Hello? Hey, Dr. Rice. Hello? Hey, Dr. Rice, it's Dana. Hey. Hey, man. Uh, huh? I said, how are you? Man, I'm, 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 bro, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm beyond speechless. Uh, yeah. I'm beyond I'm speechless. I, I just, maybe it's something I'm not understanding. Because, how do you hold a man with no bail off of allegations? Yeah, that's the, that's the process. That's how it works. It's and been that then, way for years. Huh? It's been that way from the beginning. That's, that's how it works. It's and crazy. Then, and then on top of that, um, Epstein is on house arrest. And his and his charges were way worse than Rob's. So what's the difference? Other than white privilege. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. <laughs> can I mean, can I mean, and I'm just coming because now I'm having an issue. Um, because I had, but, but I had to go to work, but I was getting play by play of what was going on in the courtroom as it was going on. Um, mm -hmm. From what I'm being told from one of my friends that was the court reporter, but they said Greenberg really ain't put up a fight. Really ain't did what? They said Greenberg really ain't put up a fight against a, a federal state's attorney. What, what did what did they do today? Um, it was the arraignment and like the bail review, but it was like, uh -huh. but it was like. But he was pretty much saying that Greenberg, when he talked, he ain't stay on topic. He ain't stay on the point. So it's so it's, so it really ain't do nothing. Whether where the federal prosecutor, I have, to, I, have to, I have to hear it. I have to hear what happened. Yeah, because they were saying, and the federal prosecutor just went all the way in, like, like this is what it is. This is who he is, and the judge. Huh. And the judge is like, "Well, no, we can't. I can't give him a bail because the charges, yeah. which don't make sense to me." Huh? And That's interesting. I have to know exactly what they said because I'm, I'm, I don't understand that. And it's it's it's, it's just, and, and then the thing is, is that here's my next question. But they said Daryl McDavid, and the reason why he was able to get bond is because he came in and told the state, I mean, he told the federal folks that Rob masterminded and made him do it.
But Rob didn't know about almost a million dollar in payments, but that Daryl McDavid did. Yeah. Yeah, they got some, they got some stuff to do. And it, I think if people start flipping, so there you go. And then Mike Wavanati talking about he played the major role in the case. And I'm like, bruh. Like, this is a lot. Yeah. That's crazy. Can, I'm just, can, make it. can I'm just trying to figure out why Rob don't have federal uh, uh, lawyers. Cause see, I was told that 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 he did, but now it's something different. Uh, you don't have to have federal lawyers. All you do is you file with the federal representative. So let me ask this: Is there any way that he can file a motion to overturn this bail review hearing? Uh, it's going to depend on why they did it. I, I don't know why they, why they refused. Say it again? I don't know why they refused it. It depends on why they refused it. But they said because the charges were too too severe. Right. But I, I don't know what that language is. They're too severe might be that he's a danger to himself or he's a danger to society. I don't know what that means. Yes, the charges are severe. Yeah. You know what context did they say that in? That okay, so that 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 for that part I don't know. And yeah, I'm, we know the charge is off of here. I mean, but it, but it means something. Why they didn't do it? Okay, so the state charges now they they don't matter right now, right? Yeah, they matter. So do you three K? Huh? He got three cases. Yeah, yeah. So do he? He he got four. He, he, he got well. You said three cases. You yeah, about in the state? Like that, I'm talking about the courtroom. She's got three cases. She's got Illinois State, uh, U.S. He got Cook County. He got New York. Right. He got three. Yeah. yeah you're right. You're right. Three courtrooms gonna be three jurors. So, as far as his state cases that he got, um, he, he's, he's going to have court next week. I, I mean, next month. But that's for the state yeah, level. Is. And they were saying that the federal supersedes that, which is true. Yeah. yeah. So, basically, he, he won't be going to the state charge case, right? Uh, if they let him go, they can let him go. They can't let him go to that trial, basically. But they said Rob came in a day, it was like he didn't even look at nobody. Uh -oh. Yeah, he's going through a hard time. I say this, when, not if, but when God bring him out of this, he need to leave Chicago and never go back. Well, it's going to be, it's going to be a long road. Uh, he's probably going to be in some legal trouble for the next probably three years, easy. And uh, that's if they don't make something else up uh, along the way. Because, you know, Atlanta was looking at some stuff. So no, so Paul Howard said that he good. And so, uh, you know, those, those three cases, not many people have three different courtrooms. That, 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 that's, that's unheard of. So basically, but they're looking at it like if they don't get them one place, but they get them somewhere. Yeah, you got a whole bunch of people. So at the end of the day, he's going to go through probably roughly, roughly about six to seven jurors. Wow. Yeah, it's not like all of these are coming up in a case where all of a sudden he's going to go with each one of these charges is a And then the crazy part is this right here. Uh, for the land fairs, um, their ju I mean, their lawyer came out and said that it wasn't true that 
they didn't receive a buyout or payout or nothing. And that R. Kelly didn't pay them to, oh, to leave the country or nothing like that. But they said R. Kelly ain't, ain't say nothing to them about nothing. Yeah, I mean, I'll, Greenberg will have to be all over that. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, it ain't, and you can talk about it all day. There ain't nothing you can do. Greenberg and O'Connor are going to have to start filing those motions once they get the evidence. And I don't know what they done got so far, but they got to give it to them. Nothing. So, until they get something, you know, it's just like when he was Cook County. Ain't nothing going on until we get something. So, you know, they just drag and they And see, and it did come out with that Kim Fox, Agua Avenatti reached out to the federal system to, um, to, to, um, to, uh, help prosecute Rob be- because the state case was falling apart. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all weak. But it doesn't matter if it's weak. All you need is one thing to stick on the wall, and there you go. All, all they want is one thing. This, this is going to get ugly. It's already ugly. It ain't going to get it. It's up. It's ugly. No, I'm talking about, but as far as like people that was supposed to be cool with everybody, it's going to be a lot of people choosing sides. It's crazy. There ain't no sides to choose. What do you mean? No, I'm talking about, but as far as like people but that was like on, on the inside, prime example, Daryl McDavid, he was trying to get back in good with Rob. And Rob was like, he didn't want to go that route. So if that's the case, for they gonna have to pull Barry Hankerson in, for they gonna have to go back and pull all these folks in. Yeah, yeah, that's why they named him in the thing. Everybody coming in. Not only him, I can promise you that. That's just the start. The only thing that I can tell you to remember is just like Jocelyn Tate came back right before trial and put some more charges on him. I mean, this can keep going forever. I mean, I'm just telling you what the deal is. So, even what he's looking at now isn't what he's looking at now. I'm just letting you know. Thank you. What he's looking at now is not what he's looking at now. You don't know if that's going to be actually what he's going to trial for. Because he's still out trying to solicit people. Homeland Security, everybody didn't give a phone number now. You don't know what else they're going to come up with. Just like Jocelyn Pace came up with more. Uh, so, there you go. And my thing is this. Just like I was telling people and before, but they talking about yes, R. Kelly guilty and that he being held without bond, and they and they like rejoicing and stuff like that. But I said honestly, when this trial start, but they gonna have to go through handwriting experts, all that, because it's checks that got signatures on. It. And the one thing that everybody has said is that R. Kelly haven't signed nothing for nobody. You don't have to. Huh? You don't have to. But they gotta, well, if that's the case, but they gotta prove that he's the mastermind. If it's his company, if the check came from his account, that's all they need. No, it, it didn't come from his account. It came, but it came from Dur- 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 David account. Uh, that's, 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 not even, that's, not even, that's not even his biggest problem. That's what he, the biggest problem are four, 12 year old girls. The biggest problem is if the IRS step in and say, it was all this money paid taxes on. That, that, that's nothing. That's all smoke and mirror. So, you okay. know, you can worry about that all you want to, but that, that, that's, that's, that's little life. Somebody signed a check and what do you get? Three years for that? That's nothing. I mean, when, when, when this other stuff kick in, if they get one of those, it's, you're talking about life center. So, you know, you can worry about who signed the check if you want to. Uh, that, what could it carry? 12 year penalty? I mean, a 12 month penalty? That, that's not. Uh, see, see what happens. See what happens if they say this 12 year old girl, if they believe her story. See, see what you be talking about. Too. Well, the question is, what twelve-year-old girl yeah, was the eyes, the eyes on the big, on the biggest, on the biggest problem? And the biggest problem is not a check. The biggest problem is one day, right? I mean, you know, so it ain't no talking about Darren McDougal or Darren Frank or uh, anybody. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? If that's, if, I, if that's all he had to worry about was a piece of paper on a check, 
this would be nothing. Yes. Yeah, you're right. And even and even in a courtroom, when you're talking about dealing with uh, uh, somebody messing with a trial, what is it? Maybe two years, three years. That, that's nothing. You got you got the eyes on the wrong thing. So basically, the thing to focus on pretty much is these underage females that are claiming. What's that's the only thing to focus on. Everything else is peanuts compared to that. Okay. Right. So basically, yeah, uh, all, all the Trump people went to jail for paperwork. That's what they went to jail for. Right. That's why they had the, the court hearing them and uh, his his picture and all of them went to jail. They went to jail because of the paperwork. Trying to pay them people off paperwork. They didn't get them but you know twenty months, eighteen months, all that kind of stuff. They didn't get no time. You need to look at the history of what's going on and what people done got and know what's going on. And right now, it's all of those underage cases. That, that's where it's at. But I feel you on that. We are getting ready to head out, though. But, yeah, it's going to be tough. And they got to get their arms around those girls. That's what they need to get their arms around. Okay. So, wait. That, that's, live, that's live human being. That's, that's not a paper, piece of paper. Right. Right, so I guess I don't know because they got Lisa Van Allen as a witness, and I'm like, how? Oh but, yeah, yeah. I love to question her. Huh? I love to question her. <laughs> <laughs> but they got, but they got Lisa Van Allen as as a witness. They got Geronda as a witness. That's why I think that, that that's the, yeah they, they are that's all still the same story. You should be able to beat that, but I'm talking about I'll get close to it anyway. It just, just depends on if they lies for me. That's all. That's all it boils down to. Who lies to me? That's what it is. Okay, well if I hear anything else, but well, I keep you posted, Doctor Rice. But I'm I'm yeah. It's nothing. I'm telling you, it's not going to be if, if they need something to feel bad. If they, I mean, it's it's. If, if, if anything else is going to be when the trial comes with those girls, yeah, he might get to, they might flip on him about a check or something. And yeah, but uh, his time is going to be with these, with this, with these girls. Well, if it's shown that he's not doing nothing wrong, then what? What do you mean? Because it's like, what did he do wrong when it comes to the girls? Well, you don't know. You were met, you were met 22 years ago. <laughs> right. So, so you, you, that question can't be answered today. Right. I don't care what you think, you know. You were met 22 years ago. That's what they're talking about. Look at them dates. He ain't done nothing wrong lately. Uh, and I don't know that he did nothing wrong then, to be honest with you, but I do know that they sure got a whole slew of making a, making a, making a thing about something 20 years ago, so, uh, I wasn't there, so I can't, I can't answer that. He's gonna have to remember everything that went on some type of way. Yeah. Well, can't, can't nobody help with that. Yeah, you right on that. All right, well, we're going to head out, but uh, keep it posted, and we'll talk soon, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Talk to you later.